instructions are a bit vague. Not vague, but there's one bit of paper. There's no. There's no. Uh, apart from that, stage one, two, three, four, five. Turn it over. End up with that. The only picture you've got is a tiny little picture. I think they could have put in another bit of paper with the uh, what it looks like when it's finished. It's not much to it actually. Apart from doing your head in a couple of times. I'm going to wait to start. Clock mechanism. Be about that size. Reflections everywhere here. Not so, uh, there's no mechanical bits in it at all. It doesn't have a pendulum or anything, so it's pretty basic compared to the bike. It's not going to really get any moving parts. I'll make a start of that. Let's see. The hands and the, uh, the nut for holding on the clock mechanism. Box standard uh, mechanism, I think these are cheapest chips. Well, you buy a whole clock for a quid, so you get six, ten of these for uh, six quid or something. Quartz clocks. So I'll make a sort of that. Not tonight, though. Hello, welcome to Laurie's Models. <coughs> uh, right, let's start making this clock. The instructions are a bit vague. No vague they're a bit flimsy. There's not much information. Just step by step, one through to 30 steps. So it's, uh, it's quite a bonny looking thing. It should be okay, there's no mechanism in it. There's not pendulums or anything, it's just an electric clock, we fancy. You can hardly see it. There. So it looks like when it's finished, it's supposed to be. If I can get it right. I'll get better pictures of it, I guess. First step is putting in the clock and all that. Clock mechanism. Clock mechanism first. And a few boards and stuff. And glass. And it's all this rings and all sorts of stuff. I can get the right way. I'm going here. So there you go, it's all that paper. No, no text or anything, just that. It's a bonny looking kit though. It should be okay, make a change. Uh, before I do the geared ones, maybe have a go at this. So first step is clock face. Notice it's a wee rubber gasket that fell to the floor. Uh, don't forget that for about a grip on the back of the clock face. So it goes on, there's no bit of gasket. It's just a Little nut there gets straight. One nut, no washer. One nut, no washer. There's handy little bits there to, to hold them. Right, screw that on. Make sure that's the right way round. Screw that on. Get it straight. Top. Twelve o'clock. Be there. Bit dark, is it? Well, my lighting's not the best. I would use a pair of grips for that. A little out of time. I've got the uh, other things. No grips at hand. So that's on more or less. I'm sure, it's tight. As I say, grips. Look at a small pair of pliers. His hands, I will tighten that up first. Hang on, I'll get my grips. Without scratching this, just tighten it up a little bit. That should do. So, say without scratching it. That's tight enough. I 
Hans. Right, it's a minute time now. No, try that. It's not forward. Try battery now. <laughs> 